Hello, in today's video we will be terminating the low voltage wire into this LED strip that is glue and aluminum extrusion provided to us by the kitchen installation guys, the millwork guys. Uh, we have our low voltage wire here and we will solder it in to the LED tape light. Uh, we will do that using my soldering iron. I got this from Amazon. It's very, very small, slim, and it uses uh, 12 to 24 volts. So this is my setup. I use a Milwaukee M12 battery with a Milwaukee uh, jacket, heated jacket or heated sweater adapter. So we will turn it on so it starts heating up. It heats up to 300 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. Place it over here. Wait so we don't burn our hands. Then we'll proceed by removing some of the insulation around the wire. We'll score it ever so lightly with our hook knife. And we'll be able to, if you turn it, it will just break and you can pull it up. It's pretty easy. Then we'll remove the nylon uh, string that they give us in case you have to strip longer, uh, longer lengths. We'll trim out a little more. And we can proceed by stripping the wire. Um, in this case, because it's such a small LED tape light, I like stripping minor amount. We're talking about like 1 16th of an inch. We don't, have a, we don't want to have a lot of uh, stripped wire sticking out since you see how close that is. I also like using the tip of the knife and scoring the terminal for the tape light. And I will explain you why. Uh, we can go ahead and use a wire, a small piece of wire as a brush and use our soldering paste. And just add a little bit in there. This helps with adhesion, uh, the adhesion of the solder. Then now that our soldering iron is hot to 300 degrees Celsius, we use our solder and we do a couple dabs. Like that, and it sits there. In the terminals uh, that way we can prepare beforehand we're gonna repeat the same process but now in our low voltage wire we'll add a bit of a paste it's a small amount in both conductors um, on DC Red is positive and black is negative. We'll grab our solder and add some uh, very generous uh, coat. It will help us when we're adding it to our tape light. Make sure it's covered. Good. The reason we do that is now when we press it against the tape light and we solder it, it's such a small uh, situation here, it's not a lot of uh, space, it will, adhere, it will adhere to this uh, small amount that we put on the actual tape light, it will make our uh, like connection process easier. And since we have this basically floating here, we want to make sure it adheres and uh, cools down fast so we have a solid connection the 
the dry. Seems solid enough. Then we'll do the same one with the positive. It's such a sometimes uncomfortable workspace. dry for a second we'll push it back in the wire now that it's securely sitting in place we will start by pushing our plastic shade Gives it a very nice finish. And the last thing left to do is to turn on the power and make sure it works. There you have it guys, our under cabinet lighting is uh, connected and working. I hope you guys learned something from this video and if you have any questions, comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, subscribe and have a wonderful day.